welcome our guest of honor, the President of Republic of Serbia, His Excellency Tomislav Nikolic, and the First Lady. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Tesla Science Center at Wardenclyffe, I would like to welcome you to this very exciting day and to this historic site. Maybe your chair is over the spot where the deep shaft went into the earth, 120 feet down to where Tesla's still undiscovered tunnels radiated. Think of what he was creating, a means to fulfill his desire to bring electricity from the earth. 110 years ago, those dreams were alive. It is awe-inspiring to me to think of standing in the shadow of this visionary and genius and realize that it was here that he hoped to achieve his most ambitious goal. I welcome you also on behalf of the Tesla Monument Organizing Committee and my Vice President Milomir Mandic and those who helped us build this monument. I salute this great event, this historic event for unveiling Tesla Monument in Wardenclyffe, the place of the future where Tesla Scientific Center and Museum will be opened. Transmission of power without wires. I'm a scientist, and a scientific man cannot expect results immediately from his discoveries. His inventions are work for the future, and that's what I worked for. His duty is to lay foundation for those who are to come. I'm not an engineer. I'm, I'm not an inventor. I'm terrible at math. I, I fell in love with Tesla because of his character, because he, he drew a line between his, his labors and his passions. You know, he was a geek at heart. And uh, when I started this crowdfunding campaign to try and buy Wardenclyffe, I think that's who, who contributed. It was people who were geeks, people who, who tried to tear the world apart and put it back together better than they found it. And uh, people who, who suffered for their work. And I think Tesla did suffer, both in his life and I think his legacy has, has suffered as well since then. Um, <laughs> I haven't been here since January. Uh, I was on this property for the first time in January. Jane Alcorn brought me out here. And uh, it was cold and dark and dirty and derelict and a bunch of other adjectives that start with D that are terrible. Um, and um, this is the first time I've been back here. And being here now and seeing how much work they've done on the property, uh, I think it, it, it aptly reflects Tesla's legacy in that thanks to, to, um, to everyone who helped, I think it's a little bit greener. Uh, I think it's a little bit brighter, and uh, instead of being cold and alone, it's now full of all of you wonderful people. Um, so with that, I just want to say to all you wonderful people who helped, donated, contributed, thank you very much. Nikola Tesla, a man, a genius, an entrepreneur. How is possible to have the Nikola Tesla and he was born in there? If you ask me, I don't have the answer. No single man today have the answer how he find a way to realize so many different ideas. Nikolai Tesla was a prolific inventor and was driven to discovery. Tesla applied detailed scientific research methods and principles to organize his work. He understood the value of capturing intellectual property utilizing the patent process and is the inventor in almost 300 worldwide patents. I want to extend a particularly warm welcome to the President, President Nikolic, Madam First Lady, Mr. Ambassador, and your colleagues in the, the government of Serbia. I thank you for coming and making this wonderful occasion even more special than it is. And uh, I hope that this is the beginning of a very powerful uh, role that this facility will hold in the future of Long Island. Because what is important to recognize for those of us who live here is that genius lived here. Genius worked here. And with this museum and with this statue, we ensure that the generations to come will know that. Nikola Tesla is do svoje besprtne slave stigao Bogu znanim putem. Only life could have made it happen. Nikola Tesla ascended the path of fame and immortality known only to deities. 
od dečaka iz Smiljana, od raslogu uz oca sveštenika Srpske pravoslavne crkve i majku koja ga je uspadivala i budila srpskim narodnim pesmama o boju na Kosovu, pre se moglo očekivati da nasledi parohiju kako je otac želeo, nego li da postane najznačajniji naučnik u istoriji čovečanstva, pronalazač joj genijalnosti dugujemo ubrzan civilizacijski hod. It was more likely that a boy growing up in his native village of Smiljane, in a family of a Serbian Orthodox Church priest and a mother who sang him balance about the battle of Kosovo and putting him to sleep and awakening him, would follow in his father's footsteps and become a parish priest as his father wished, then become the most famous scientist in the history of mankind, an inventor to whose genius we owe an accelerated development of our civilization. Njegov doprinos čovečanstvu poprima mitske dimenzije. Uprotio je vodopade. Izvršio biblijski zadatak da bude svetlosti u mraku. Podario inovacije na kojima se zasniva danas sve što je nekada bila fantastika i domen pisaca i maštara, put u svemir, televizija, internet, telekomunikacija, medicinski aparat. His contribution to humanity has assumed almost mythical dimensions. He harnessed water poles, carried out a biblical task of their being light in the dark. His innovations constitute today the basis of everything that once was science fiction and the preserve of fiction writers and dreamers. Space travel, television, the internet, telecommunications, medical appliances. Rođen kao Srbin, umro kao Amerikanac, Tesla je postao još jedan istorijski čvor koji vezuje sudbine i prijateljstvo naših država i naroda. Njegove odrednice su srpski narod čiji je pripadnik i američka država koja je razvila njegove nauče potencijale. A Tesla je ipak na početku i kraju zadužio celo čovečanstvo. I srbin i amerikanac ili ni srbin ni amerikanac već građani svet. Tesla, who was born as a Serb and died as an American, became yet another historic knot tying the destinies and friendship existing between the two countries and their people. He is defined by the Serbian people he belonged to and the American state, which helped him develop his research potential. Tesla has invested all mankind, whether in the beginning or the end, both as a Serb and an American, or neither as a citizen of the world. I would like to ask His Excellency President Nikolic to inaugurate Tesla's monument. Your Excellency. I thought the program was very, very well done, and uh, I just think it's a wonderful day for uh, Serbians, for Serbian Americans, because of the genius of Nikola Tesla, uh, the world as we've known it, and the world as we hope to know it in the future is going to benefit from this, mind, from this man's brilliant mind. And to see such a wonderful array of talent to uh, accompany this program, uh, the musical performances and the speech by uh, President Nikolic, Republic of Serbia, was very inspiring and a wonderful tribute to a great human being. And this Nikola Tesla should be an inspiration to all of our young Serbian people as to what they can achieve under much better conditions than what Nikola Tesla faced as a young person.